What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Another product review for you guys today. We have the Mackie Fump 215 XTs. We're going to be going through all the specs. We're going to be doing an actual demo with a really fancy microphone so you guys can hear as best as possible how these speakers sound. Let's get into it. So first off, shout out to Mackie for sending me over a pair of the new Mackie Fump 215 XTs. They've been out for a minute now, but I'm finally getting around to filming a complete video for you guys today. We're gonna go through all the specs, all the details. This video is gonna be broken up into multiple sections. So first we're gonna talk about the specs of the speakers themselves. Then we're gonna move into all the features, basically looking at the around the speaker, what's all the features that we have that we're working with. And then lastly, we're gonna be doing a sound demo. Well, I guess not lastly, we're gonna be doing a sound demo with my new fancy Five, I can't remember how much, this was an expensive microphone. This is an Audio-Technica AT4040 cardioid microphone. This thing is an expensive microphone and we're gonna set this up to give you guys the best possible audio to hear what these speakers sound like in real life. And we'll probably be bringing comparisons to the channel in the future. And then lastly, I'm gonna give you guys my personal opinions, what I'm hearing here in the shop, and also my take based on the speakers I've heard out in the wild, from line arrays to high pro and to budgets, where do the Mackie Fumps stack up in terms of competition? Let's get in to the specs. So the best way to get into the specs is I'm gonna unbox the other speaker. I already bought, unboxed one of them, but as I'm unboxing it, let's go through the specs. So this is the Mackie Fump 215, which means it is a 15 inch woofer on the actual cabinet itself. And of course there's a tweeter up top. Maggie claims we have a peak output of 1400 watts on this speaker, woo. And you guys that have seen my other speaker videos, you know I say woo because peak output doesn't really tell you much about the speaker. It's all about decibels and it's all about the RMS powers. That is what, in terms of specs, you can actually look at two speakers and compare how loud they are. But then again, you know, in today's day and age, all those spec numbers can be manipulated, which is why people like myself that do product reviews are super helpful for you guys that are the buyers to understand the differences between the two speakers. Speaker A might say it's a 2000 watt speaker and speaker B might say that it's a 2500 watt speaker. Although speaker C says it's a thousand watt speaker and it actually has more output than the other two speakers because they manipulate the specs. That's just a little side plug. If you guys wanna know more about that, check it out on my channel, the other videos. I go into detail about how specs can be manipulated. The best specs to look at are the actual DBs of output and the RMS power, which is the continuous power output that the speaker can do. With that said, we have 129 decibel SPL output. That is pretty high up there in terms of beginner speakers. So I'm really excited to hear how this sounds. Uh, the tweeter I mentioned is actually a one inch tweeter. As I unbox this, you do have your user manual at the top, the quick start guide, which of course the quick start guide will walk you through everything I'm about to go into in this video. And lastly, as I'm unboxing the speaker, the last sort of things I wanna mention is Mackie has four different modes built into this speaker. Not to mention they also have a app that you can use to control the speaker. So here we go. And I did forget to mention it, but the big thing Mackie's pushing is that all their speakers are built like a tank. And if you've seen the videos they've been doing on their corporate pages, go look up Mackie's Instagram or something like that. They literally take these speakers and like just chuck them down hills and beat the crap out of them, hit them with cars. And then they show you that it's still working, which is incredible. And I personally love to see that because I'm a proponent of don't baby your equipment, actually use it and abuse it and make money with the equipment. So I like that Mackie's pushing that agenda. But also I've, I've been a long time user of Mackie speakers. And let me tell you, like back in the day, the SR series, those things were legit fucking tanks. You could beat the living crap out of them. So it's cool that Mackie is pushing that agenda again. And I think the last thing I didn't mention, but this is kind of built into the app, but it has music, uh, music ducking and feedback eliminators, which are basically just fancy software that keeps you from blowing your speakers and getting feedback. Let's go ahead and get to the overview. We're gonna look at a speaker and spin around and go through all the different buttons and features of the Mackie Fub 215s, XDs. But before we get into it, please, when you get your new speakers, I know you love all these amazing, awesome stickers on the fronts of them. Remove the stickers off your speakers. Oh, listen to that. Beautiful. Wow, but I actually made that really hard to get off. I'm gonna have to get some goo gone. But yes, remove the speakers from the fronts of your speakers. Speakers are meant to be heard, not seen. Take the stickers off of them at your events. Also, let's see if, the, if does it do it? Does it do it? Yeah, it does. 
All right, one of the coolest things I've seen with the Mackie speakers lately, the little Mackie logo, and I'll show this up close, you can actually turn it. So if you have it in a monitor position, you can make it look differently. So here we are again, we have the speaker up on the stand. Again, take this sticker and please remove the sticker. This one came off cleanly. But what I was mentioning right here, the actual Mackie emblem, let me zoom in. The actual Mackie emblem, you can pull it out and rotate it. So you can rotate it around whether your speaker is upside down, sideways, or straight forward. So back to this quick overview, we have an awesome metal grill up front. We got the emblem in the center. We have a little tiny LED light here at the bottom. It's an all polycarbonate build. Which for those of you confused with that term, it basically means it's made out of plastic. So the whole entire box is made out of plastic. We have ridges on the side here so you can put it in a monitor wedge position. We have a handle on the right. We have a handle on the left. We have another two sets of feet so you can put it in a monitor on the left or the right side depending on how you like it. And there's an integrated handle up top as well. All of these handles are very nice handles. They're built very strong. They're not the comfiest handles to grab, but we're also talking about a budget speaker here in comparison to like some of the nicer speakers out there that cost thousands of dollars. In terms of a molded handle on a budget speaker, this is a really good handle. Some of the nicer speaker brands out there put some rubber on the inside of them to make it a little bit easier to grab. But again, we're talking about a budget speaker here. This is an entry level speaker for beginner DJs. Lastly, before I move on, we do have feet on the bottom and we have a single pole mount. All right, let's come in closer for the back panel. All right, so on the back panel here, they made it extremely easy to use in my opinion. I love the simplicity of the back panel on the Mackie Fump speaker. Right here at the top, we have our selection for our different modes. We have music, live, club, and monitor, and they even put the EQ curves down below here to explain what it is they are doing. And for the most part, all you need to know is that music is gonna give you a general good EQ for music. It's gonna add a little more bass, it's gonna reduce a little bit of the mids, and it's gonna increase the highs a little bit. Live pushes in the Live, live is designed for our musicians out there, so it cuts out a lot of the lower end bass because they're not normally using it with a guitar and stuff like that. And it keeps more of a flat profile through the mids and just a little bit of increase on the highs for those vocals to add a little bit of flair to the vocals. On the club mode, it's literally the same as music mode, except it's pushed even further. So you're gonna get even more drastic increase in bass, increase in highs, and reduction in the mids. So for most of the DJs, we're gonna be in music or club mode, depending on your taste. And then lastly, we have monitor mode. Again, more for a musician use on a stage where the, it's facing up towards them. So that EQ is designed specifically for a monitor scenario. Again, for us DJs out there, I would 100% probably be in the music or the club mode. Unless you're using this for a monitor in your DJ booth, then you will probably be using the monitor mode, but again, Music club, that's where us DJs are gonna be at. At the top here, we have different mode selectors or additional features you can use. So they have a built-in outdoor mode, which is designed to optimize the speaker for an open air environment. Really cool that they added in that. We have music ducking. So basically music ducking is going to keep the volume level consistent with the speakers and reduce the chances of pretty much overdriving your speakers when you're pushing them too hard. Feedback eliminator, pretty self-explanatory, but it's gonna be listening for any chances of feedback and try to reduce the chances of those mics feeding back. Super helpful feature for young beginner DJs that don't necessarily know everything there is to know about reducing feedback with microphones. It's not gonna 100% eliminate it, but it will help with reducing it. And then you can turn the front LED on or off. And that front LED is a green LED on the bottom. Then getting into our knobs here, we have two different channels and a main control. Of course, our main signal is basically right here, set it for wherever you want. Any DJs out there, you're gonna wanna set it to Unity, which is basically right in the middle. This is where you should be setting all of your channels. Unless you have room to push the speaker, you can raise it up, but for the most part, all of us are gonna be setting it right in the middle, so that way we get a good clean sound, we're not adding anything to it, and we're not causing distortion. On channel one, you can actually set it up for a line or a microphone. Channel two, we have a 3.5 millimeter aux jack where you can plug in directly a headphone cable to run directly audio that way, or you have Bluetooth capabilities with this channel two section as well where you can pair any device via Bluetooth and play music to it. You can also link this 
to another speaker via Bluetooth, which is a really cool feature, and we're gonna try that out today. Then uh, lastly, we have another combo jack down here. These are combo jacks, so you can put a quarter inch or a XLR cable into them. And then lastly, just an XLR out through. That's gonna take all this and pass it on to whatever your next speaker is. Then below that, we have the power switch down here and our IEC input for the power. So the last overview feature would be related to the actual app that you can use to control the speaker. I'm not gonna go 100% into that in this video. If you guys want me to make a future video on the app, let me know, and then we can talk about the app when using it with the Fump 215 XTs or the Mackie Fump Goes, which are tucked right up there, which is another product review coming to the channel very shortly. But that is a quick little walk around of the whole entire speaker. I'm not a huge person that likes to use the apps that these speaker companies are pushing on them. You can do a lot of cool things with the app itself, but for me personally, I like to be able to just use the speaker out of the box, see how it sounds out of the box, because I'd rather not have to mess around with an app on my phone to control the speaker. That's just my personal preference. I do have speakers that I've set the special EQ that I like personally on them and went from there. But in general, I'm a fan of companies that make just raw speakers that you can use out of the box. And they have some of those extra features. Like I love that Mac included the buttons up here on the top to activate some of those cool modes that you might want to activate. Just you can do them physically right on the actual speaker instead of having to go directly to an app and then activate those features such as the feedback eliminator, music ducking, outdoor mode, and being able to switch between the different EQ modes just simply on the speaker is really nice. I like being able to just do that out of the box in comparison to having to pull a phone up and do it. But it's cool that they did both because most speaker companies nowadays are either doing one or the other. And it's really cool that Mackie has both where you can either do it right on the actual speaker itself or you can do it in the app. With that said, let's hook up this speaker and get into a demo. All right guys, so again, we're gonna be moving into the sound demo portion. Again, right here we have the Audio-Technica microphone set up and this is set up in the correct orientation for you guys to hear it. Uh, right now you're hearing my little road lapel right now. We also are gonna be using a dB meter to see how loud it is in both dB a and DBC. So quickly, let me take the camera off the tripod to show you guys the microphone setup, all the, where everything is at, but we will be recording the DB levels right here at the microphone, as well as you being able to listen to them on this microphone as well. I will preference that listening to this video with the compression of YouTube and everything like that is not gonna be the exact same as listening to it in person, but this is the closest I can possibly get to you guys hearing this speaker in person via video. This is the best, most expensive microphone for hearing volume correctly in a situation like this at high volume. We're gonna go through, we're gonna show you the set real quick and then we're gonna get into the demo. So right here we have the Audio-Technica AT4040 set up on a mic stand and it is exactly six feet away from the speaker. This is the point I measured it with the tape measure right there. This is exactly six feet away for you guys to get the best representation of sound. Now that microphone is feeding over here to the Zoom H6 so that you guys can hear the exact volume we're gonna record the track. We have it set that basically at max volume, we're not clipping the actual reader and we'll be able to verify what our dB level is with this reader right here. Um, this is like a $100 dB reader. It's about the best we can get. QC passed, all that good stuff. So again, all set up for the best possible demo to give you guys the best accurate sound. Now, I also want you guys, leave in the comment section down below, I'm thinking about setting up some comparisons, would you say, speaker wars coming this summer. And you guys will be able to hear and compare all the different speakers with this mic setup. Let me know in the comment section down below. Comment down below, would you like to see some comparisons? And if so, what speakers do you want me to compare and contrast on the channel? Let me know. But anyways, we're gonna queue up some non-copyrighted music so that way we don't get flagged on YouTube and you guys will be able to listen along and we're gonna go through all the different modes so that you can hear all the different modes that are on the speaker. We're not gonna go through like outdoor mode or feedback suppression. We're not gonna use any of that in this demo. We're just gonna be demoing the actual speaker sound via the different four modes. All right guys, we're gonna be going through the different modes. We're gonna start on music mode so you guys can hear it. So we're gonna switch over to this mic and you guys will see the DB reading we're getting. We're just running everything at unity gain. So we're not gonna try and push the speaker right now. So mostly this is here for you guys to hear the quality of the speaker. We have kind of like a dubstep uh, song EDM that you guys can listen to that's gonna be non-copyright. So we're gonna play a good maybe 10 to 30 seconds of this clip 
with you guys listening to the audio now. So let me crank this up and listen away. From my isolation, this way too complicated. Let's start this conversation. Let's start this conversation. So again, we're at six feet. We were pulling on DBA around 100 on the DB. When we switched over to DBC, we got a little bit louder. DBC tends to give a higher reading. So DBC was our max. I think I saw around 106, averaging about 101, 103. Again, we're just at Unity game. We're not pushing the speaker too loud. And um, I've already listened to the speaker quite a bit. So I do want to preference some of my opinions on it. So at Unity gain, Again, we're on music mode, very even sound, good impact of bass, good sound overall. So around what we're at right now, around that 100 dB fresh point, it's a very good sounding speaker. Now, we're going to go ahead and repeat this so that you guys can hear it in club mode as well. I'm not going to bother with live or monitor mode. That is pretty self-explanatory. So we're on music mode. Club mode should increase the bass just a little bit, increase the highs a little bit to add a little bit more of that club type volume and personally that's my favorite thing so let's restart the song we're going to switch it over into club mode and let's go ahead and replay the song we shouldn't see any increase in db so there should be an accurate comparison for you guys to hear both modes and then we're going to go and push the speaker and see how loud we can get it and we'll see if they claim the 128 129 db is possible now it might not be possible at six feet so i'll also go right up to the speaker and see what the maximum possible reading i can get out of the speaker to see if Mackie is telling the truth. The night has come, it's cold and losing my control. Your light is gone, and lonely darkness fill my soul. I wish that you could save me from my isolation. This way too complicated, Let's start this conversation. There you go. That is club mode versus music mode. If you want to get a little clearer, listen to the actual tracks itself. I will say it does exactly what it says. Um, club mode is a little bit more of a club sound. Music mode is more of just the regular music. So I personally like the club mode more. It adds a little bit more bass, adds a little bit more on the high end side. I was noticing on the DB meter, we were a couple DBs louder. It hit around 108 on the high end on DBC. On DBC, on the music mode, we were around 106. Two decibels, though, really, in comparison, doesn't sound any louder. It didn't sound any louder to me here in the garage. All I noticed was the sound profile was a little bit more distinct with some more bass and some more highs. Now... Let's get to the fun. We're going to go back to the mic and we're going to crank this thing up and see how many dBs we can get at six feet and right up on the speaker as well. I'm going to start it kind of in the song a little bit because right around the minute point, it bumps up in the volume. Let's crank it all the way up. Let's see what we can do. And let's also see if it distorts. So anyways, switching over to the mic now, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can pull out of this. <laughs> We just did it real quick. Max volume test. We were getting around 112, 113 dB at six feet away. Again, that's not right up on the speaker, so we're going to see how loud we can get it right up on the speaker as well. But definitely pushing max volume, uh, we are getting into some distortion territory. There's a lot of the bass is reduced. Um, the highs do sound good still. The mids sound good. It's just that bass has been tremendously the bass doesn't keep up at the very high volumes now let me get to my opinion to the end because we're pushing the speaker to its limits that's not a fair test if i'm down around 80 percent of its max volume sounds good like right here 
That right there sounded good. That sounded really good. All right, so let me take the camera off the tripod right here and let's go right up to it and compare the max volume. So again, we're gonna try out DBC and DBA here. Let me go ahead and turn the music up and let's see what we can do. Well, I gotta say, 126, I saw 127 at one point on the decibel meter. Now, we are right up on the speaker. This is what I was telling you guys about. Specs can be manipulated to some degree. So, we're talking up here, six feet away, we're at 112 dB. Right up on the speaker, on the horn, we're at 127 dB. So, that's why I was saying, like, specs can be manipulated. It's not necessarily what the volume is gonna be at on the dance floor. It might be what the volume is right at the at the speaker and it depends on the manufacturer as to where they measure that. Clearly Mackie measures it right up at the speaker. So I am impressed though to say that the specs do match the volume output. We're talking right up on the speaker. We are hitting right around that. I guarantee if we chose the right track, we probably could hit 128, 129 dB. Or if we add a little bit more gain to it, we could hit it. But max decibel output is on par with what they say. So now I'm gonna go ahead and demo some more music for you guys. So I'm gonna start my recording over here again. Uh, we're gonna turn it down to a normal level. We're gonna bring it up to a higher volume than it normally is at. We're probably gonna put it somewhere around 100 to 110 dB when it comes to right here at the microphone six feet away. For you guys that don't know when it comes to your decibel readings, at an average event, you're gonna find that on the dance floor is gonna be somewhere around 90 to 100 decibels, maybe a little more like 105 in some areas of the dance floor, but that is normally what we would all consider to be a loud dance floor. We don't want to break everyone's eardrums and be pushing 110 decibels on the dance floor. That is absolutely insanity. Now, right beside the speaker, it might be that loud, but just to give you guys a reference point, normally at my weddings, I am dialing my sound in to the point where it's around 90 to 100 to 105, maybe in the dance floor area of the event. And when I say 105, it might be 105 or 110 in an empty dance floor. So that way I know when the people get in there that they are reducing it because bodies absorb sound. So it's gonna reduce the actual decibels on the dance floor. So normally when it's an empty dance floor, I just showed up to a venue. I'm setting the decibels somewhere around 100 to 105. If it's a really big event like a prom, I might set it closer to maybe like 108, 110 at the very front of the dance floor and then the middle of the dance floor is somewhere around 105. The back of the dance floor is around 100. So just to give you a reference point, the decibel outputs of the speaker are pretty good for a speaker like this, especially when we're considering full volume. And I'm gonna get into that in my opinion on how this sounds in comparison to other speakers I've heard. All right, so now I wanna give you guys a full rundown to be able to hear some other music. We're gonna play some copyrighted music. They're gonna be chopped up really short so that way we hopefully don't get flagged. But we're gonna play some music that you guys would play at your events to hear how they sound and also so I can hear how they sound so that I can give you guys a really accurate representation of my opinion on how these sound in comparison to other speakers that I have used in my DJ career of over 10 years now. Can't believe it's sunny now. But did you have to go? I've been waiting on you, baby. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. Instead of fucking something, I need to do a leap. I'm trying to do more with her than do a feature. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little sound demo. Let me know how, I literally have no idea how that sounded because I don't know, we set this up. Let me know how it sounded with the microphone in the comments down below. Let me know again, what other speakers you might wanna see me test so that we can do some comparisons on this channel to accurately let you guys listen to different speakers without actually owning them with this setup. I'm super excited to potentially get into more of this coming this summer. All right, on to the personal opinions on how this speaker sounds, how it stacks up, the Mackie Fump 215 XT. Um, again, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is DJ Rick Webb. I've been a DJ for 11 years now. I've heard speakers. I can't even tell you how many different models and brands of speakers, everything from QSC, EV, JBL, 
um, L Acoustics, LD Systems, Mackie, you name it, I've heard it. Also, I've heard all of this. I own a lot of speakers in the JBL range. I've owned QSCs in the past. I've owned EV in the past. I have owned a lot of LD Systems now. Um, so let's get into kind of my opinion on where this stacks up. And first, I got and foremost, I got to talk about budget and in general where this speaker falls in categories of speakers out there. This is a beginner friendly speaker. Now, if you are looking for a higher end speaker, go check out my video on the Mackie SRX line. That line is a few steps up in comparison to this line right here. This is your entry level speakers. Also, go check out the video if you haven't seen it before. I break down the different types of categories of speakers out there. For me, you have beginner friendly, intermediate, pro level, and tour level in terms of speaker categories that you can get into. And each of those categories comes with their own caveats of features, clarity, quality, output, all that. So now that we've clarified that, this right here is a beginner friendly speaker. So for all you DJs out there that are in the beginner stages and don't necessarily have speakers yet, or you have some other brands of speakers, such as maybe like Harbinger, Alto. This might be a, a little bit of a step up for you. So this speaker right here is very impressive in the beginner category. Um, the output level on this speaker is up there as one of the best in the, in, in the beginner category. I have only heard maybe one other speaker in the beginner category that comes close this to this output level. The output level, like how loud it is, this is very incredible. I think the only speaker that even comes close to it is the EV ZLX line. That's probably the only speaker that comes close to this output level. It's really good. Hats off to Mackie on the output level of the speaker. When it comes to the range of the actual speaker in terms of lows, mids, and highs, not really much of a deep low end speaker. Of course, it is a top speaker and you're not gonna get deep low end out of it if you want deep low end go get a subwoofer. But from a 15 inch speaker, the output of bass, the mid bass is really strong, really good. I really enjoy listening to the actual low end of the speaker. The mids and the highs, however, are not the clearest in the world, but when it comes to the beginner category, this is very good. Overall, sound output on this, I'm gonna give a good grade to. Of course, we're in the beginner category, so in the beginner category, it gets a great stamp because it's in the beginner category. When I'm talking about the clarity is not the best, I'm comparing it to some of the pro level, touring level speakers that I've heard where the clarity is absolutely insane. I don't expect this beginner speaker to have blow me away clarity, but in the beginner category, this is a great overall sounding cabinet. Would I recommend this speaker? Absolutely. And overall, I gotta say, as a package, when it comes to, if we're considering the usability of this speaker with the easy to use controls on the back of the speaker, Bluetooth pairing, Bluetooth linking, it has the app feature on the outside, not to mention it's built like a mother effing tank to take pretty much any abuse you'll throw at it. This thing gives a five star review from me in terms of speakers in the beginner category. So if you are a beginner DJ out there and you're looking for a highly reliable, good quality output, loud beginner level speaker, this right here, I highly recommend you check out the Mackie Fump 215 XTs. Like I said, the SR series back in the day used to be part of the speakers I use a lot and they were tanks and this thing is right up there. I'm very impressed with where Mackie has gone now. The, the new thumps are super powerful and super strong and really remind me a lot of those Mackie SR days with those really well-built, good output. You can beat the crap out of it. You can crank the crap out of it and not worry about blowing the speaker. The new Mackie Fump 215 XTs, right up there in terms of all of those factors that are needed in a speaker to be able to be put into the abuse of the beginner category. Because of course, us beginner DJs, we want it loud. We want to crank the crap out of them and we want to literally play for hundreds of people with two little tiny speakers because we can't afford the big stuff yet. This one right here can do that. It can play loud. You don't worry about breaking it because it can literally be thrown around and still be working. And 
it has a bunch of limiting features built into it to prevent you from blowing the speaker. So that right there is my quick little synopsis on the Mackie Fump 215 XT. Hope you guys enjoyed the whole entire review process for this video. I really wanna do more sound demos like this for you guys to be able to actually hear the quality of the speakers and be able to hear it as best as possible. Again, through the process of YouTube processing and that, it's not gonna be perfectly like you're here, but it'll give you a comparison level. So I wanna bring that and do more comparisons with different speakers out there, so that way you guys can go listen to the different videos and get yourself a good comparison level to those, along with my feedback of describing the sound of those speakers. So if you guys have made it to this point in the video, you know what to do, hit hashtag squad in the comments down below. Well, don't hit it, but type hashtag squad in the comments down below if you're at this point in the video. It really helps me know who out there is the loyal supporters watching these videos all the way to the end and really supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for making me, allowing me to do this job and I love actually being able to bring content to you guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna learn more about the Mackies, I'm gonna link some stuff down below and it'll also be in the pinned comment. And like always guys, keep them records spinning and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.